Today we're welding a 3mm butt joint and highlighting some common mistakes that you'll definitely want to avoid. So we're going to tack this with a 1mm gap, tacking both ends. So we're going to weld this with 60 amps using 1.6mm ER70S filler wire with a pure argon shielding gas. As you can see we've dropped our torch angle slightly so we're not actually pointing towards the plate so it's quite acute. We're dipping regular motion so what we're trying to do to get penetration through this plate is to get the heat so that, that weld pull sinks through to the other side fusing both edges together. The downside to having an acute angle is we're not focusing the arc towards the plate as much so it's key that we lift that torch angle and focus the arc directly at the joint so it pushes the weld pull through the plate giving us penetration on the back side. And as you can see from the finished weld we haven't achieved full fusion the sharp edges of the plate are still visible. So now we're bumping the amperage up to 80 to see what kind of difference it makes in penetration and overall weld quality. The first notable change is the weld pool is forming much faster now making it slightly harder to control so we're picking up our travel speed to stay on top of it and we're having to add more wire into the pool to stop the weld from sagging and becoming under flush. Running higher amperage on thin material will always increase the risk of distortion which can pull your plates out of alignment and potentially ruin your job. As you can see from the finished weld we've got certain areas which are over flush and certain areas which are under flush but our penetration is now more consistent and we've managed to catch both edges. So now we're going to overcompensate and go 120 amps. So as you can see from this weld it's very very sunken, it's quite wide and what it's done is it's shoved all of that material through to the back which is all coked up, contaminated and nasty due to overheating and excess penetration. Next we modified our setup into a V-shape by having a larger gap at the end end of the joint to compensate for natural closing that occurs during welding. We've dropped the amps to 75 and with our new setup we're expecting the gap to stay open as we weld down the joint before the gap would close up during welding which made it harder to stay consistent with our penetration. As we weld down this joint you can see the gap is still open. We're keeping a tight arc, feeding the wire at regular intervals and maintaining a steady travel speed. Because the gap now stays open due to the setup change we need to make sure we're feeding in extra wire as it's easy to penetrate through the material. As you can see the final run is over flush, it's caught both edges of the plate nicely and we've achieved much better penetration. Here's a preview of our next video routing a 12mm single V prep butt in the vertical position. The video is on screen now, go check it out. As always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.